so at this point we have changed all of our math all my kids math is going to be different this upcoming school year stick around if you're interested in what happened and what we considered as well as what we chose to start the school year with as far as math goes <music> Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Davine and I homeschool four kids ages 10, 11, 12, and 14. If you've been following me since the spring, you will see that I have a math picks video. And as far as that video goes, three out of four of the picks are not correct at this point. So a little math history, our family math history as far as homeschooling, we are entering our fourth year of homeschooling. At the very beginning of homeschooling, we started out with teaching textbooks for all four of the kids. And we stuck with teaching textbooks for three of the four kids up until this point. The child that had the most issues with teaching textbooks was my oldest, and we'd really struggled with teaching textbooks. We tried to do it for about two thirds of our first year. Then we kind of took a break and we moved into Math Mammoth for the end of that school year. And then I tried again to finish that math, it was math four level, and it just wasn't working. So we probably quit in about 10 weeks into the second school year. And I didn't really know what to do. With four kids, I really need some help, especially in math, help with like marking and teaching and things like that. I really just don't feel like I can do that all myself. So I try to find curriculum that will help me with that. But in her case, I really couldn't find a very, a good program that would do that for me at that time. So what we did was we moved into the good and the beautiful math four. So the reason why I even tried it is because of those free PDF downloads. So I could download a quarter of the year and try that out with her and it worked well for us. And so I went ahead and purchased the whole year. So she did math four, our second year of homeschooling. And last year she did math five and I completely planned on going into math six so much that I purchased it. Um, if you watched my last video, that's kind of a review and flip through of math six, but we are not going to be using math six at this point. So towards the end of last year, it just became much more of a struggle. I would say the good and the beautiful was not easy for us, but at the very beginning, she really enjoyed it and she would say that she liked math and I think she liked the variety and the color and it's just different every day and it's not super, super spiral. Um, each lesson covers basically one topic in, a diff in different ways and then there's a review section which we would save for the end of the week anyways because she can't really handle things that are too spiral. So the problem with teaching textbooks was that it was very spiral in that you would kind of get a mix of different problems that you've learned in the past throughout the lesson instead of the one lesson focusing on that one concept and maybe having a little bit of review at the end. It's just too much shifting for her. So that's why teaching textbooks didn't work. So Good and the Beautiful was slightly better, but it is a lot. If you've done the Good and the Beautiful, you know that they have a lot of questions. And even though we adapted it, it just became kind of a frustration point for us towards the end of last year. So I figured it was time for her to take a look and see if there's something else that might work better for the upcoming school year. So now I'm gonna jump over to my middle daughter. My middle daughter is the only one who we planned on changing math this year. The reason why we plan on changing math is she is going into pre-algebra and I wanted to give her a chance to kind of figure out what style she liked and pick something that might work for her for the rest of her schooling, perhaps. So teaching textbooks was something I picked for her and it worked okay for me, but I just wanted to give her a chance to try out a few different math programs. So after trying out about three different math programs, she chose Think Well Math and we are definitely still going with that. We are starting that next week and we're very excited about trying that out. I think it'll work very well for her. So when my oldest daughter was struggling with her math, I had to come up with some alternatives that I thought might work for me. So the three math programs that I decided to try out with her were 
Think Well Math, Unlock Math, and CTC Math. I just thought that because we chose Think Well Math, so we had a little track record with that already. And then Unlock Math is, it can be for struggling students and it looked very colorful, which is something she seems to really enjoy. So I thought Unlock Math might be a good choice. And then CTC Math also because it is taught and they, they teach it and they mark it online. So like I said, that's kind of important to me to have some of that stuff taken off my plate. So those were the three we decided to try out. I will say that it was a very rushed trial period because when she changed her math, we were kind of coming up on that point of the year where we have to tell our parent partnership program what we're planning on doing for the upcoming school year. And if it's something that they would purchase for us, like if it's secular, then they would be willing to help us pay for the program. So we really had like a few days to decide. And so I really didn't get her to have the trial period that I would like for these programs. I will say, I believe that all three programs have a 14 day trial. So if you wanna try it out and you have more time than we did, just a few days, you can try that out. But we did try a few lessons on two of the three programs. So after looking at ThinkWell a little more and being realistic with my thoughts on ThinkWell for her, I decided not to even give ThinkWell as an option because it is supposed to be for more advanced students. And I do believe that there are not a crazy amount of questions, which is perfect for my middle daughter who grasps concepts quickly. And I do believe it's pretty mastery. So the lesson will teach you about a certain topic and then you will do practice problems related to that topic. So it's not super spiral. So that would have worked, but I don't think the number of questions would work for her because she might need more practice to retain the information. So I decided that we weren't going to consider think well after all for her and just give her the choice of unlock math or CTC math at this point. So, so she tried out, first she tried out CTC math and she seemed to enjoy it. Um, just to explain a little bit about CTC math, it is, first of all, one of, the, one of the things that I really love about CTC math is once you sign up for CTC math, you have access to all the levels. So I'm not sure how far it goes down. Kindergarten maybe, up until calculus, I believe. I am going to make another video about them um, in the future, so stick around if you want to hear more. I will do more research as far as CTC math goes. So you can choose, once you subscribe to their program, you can use any of the lessons from any of those levels. So that is really good when you have a child who struggles and you're not exactly sure where to place them. When you sign up for the 14 day trial, you get access to the first lesson of each kind of chapter. So she tried out one of the lessons and basically there's a there's a screen teaching you the concept and then there are I think about 10 questions that follow. Now if you do well on those 10 questions then you can move on to the next lesson. If you struggle with those 10 questions you can get another batch of 10 questions. So what I like about this is if a child knows the concept quicker they can move on quicker and if they need more practice there's definitely an unlimited number of problems that you can keep practicing before you move on to the next lesson. Along with that, they are, it's a more mastery based program. So there are four units in a year and then within each unit there's chapters, but that each chapter will have some lessons depending on how much they need to teach that concept. And so each lesson will build on each other for that unit but then you might do another unit that is based on some other things. So that works for her because she just needs to keep practicing the same concept and not be frustrated by the a whole bunch of different problems coming in there. So she enjoyed the lesson and she did the, did the problems and I think she had to try a few times, but she still liked it. And then she tried Unlock Math, which is very colorful and they start from foundations, which is before you would do pre-algebra. So just the basics all the way up to, I might have to put it below. I'll do some research and put it below, maybe calculus. I'm not exactly sure, but it's very colorful. And you also, same thing, when you subscribe, you get access to 
all the levels or any of the levels so you can decide where your child needs to be. So she would have been doing foundations. So we did do one lesson or two of unlock math and she did enjoy it. And she chose to do, I think an extra lesson that we just an extra lesson that day. Um, unlock math is broken up a little bit differently. There's like a, there's like a um, kind of a warm up question and then there's like a video. And then under that there's questions about what you learned and then there's some like review. So it's sort of more of a multi-step process to get through the lessons. And the videos are somewhat, there's a teacher teaching, so a physical teacher teaching, and it's just a very nice and colorful website. So I thought that she would go for Unlock Math, but I was okay with either one. I thought if we could handle either one, that would be great. So I just left it up to her and she chose CTC Math. So a lot of people use CTC Math. I've heard a lot about it in the homeschool communities. I also do need to correct something that I said in my math comparison video. I will link that below where I compare like seven different math programs. That's when I was trying to choose for my middle daughter. But I did, I think I quoted some numbers for the price of CTC Math that are for non-homeschoolers. If you are a homeschooler, it is half of the price. And when we were looking at CTC math, they happened to have a really amazing sale where it was like under $100 for a year and a half subscription. So I did submit to my parent partnership program to see if they would get it for me, but they couldn't get it at that discount. So they weren't able to purchase it at the full price. So I went ahead and paid for the program because I just think $100 for, for a year and a half is a great deal. And I really love that I would have access to all of the levels. And so I don't like subscription-based because you're paying maybe yearly sometimes and maybe you're not using it for the year, but you don't have to pick a certain level. You can do any level, which really worked out in this case because the level that I thought she would be at, we quickly moved her back a level. So we went backwards a little bit on her levels and I'm hoping that she can do two lessons a day and maybe get through that as a review for the first half of the year and then start the level that I was hoping that she would be at. So that's what we picked for my oldest daughter, CTC Math. Then summer came along and we were doing, we do a little bit of math in the summer and my boys are finishing up their math, their math. So they're teaching textbooks. I think they were doing math five this year, finishing up the lessons. And there was just a lot of frustration and a lot of butting of heads. And I think it was just wearing on them the same. So just over time, frustration was building. And especially my middle son, he really has some of the same issues as my older daughter some just retention memory and just struggles a little bit more with like ADHD and things like that. So he and my younger son were just not liking teaching textbooks and it was just becoming a battle. I had already told the parent partnership program that we were planning on moving into math six. So thankfully in the middle of summer, I was scrambling a bit and I was like, okay, um, I don't know if I can pick something else, but I really don't think this is gonna work for the upcoming school year. So what am I gonna do with my boys? So at that time, I just seemed obvious that I should let them try out CTC math and just see how that goes. Because if you do do CTC math as a family, you do get a discounted rate. I think once you have two kids using it, after that, it just, be, you can add as many kids as you want. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just try CTC math if it's working for my daughter. Maybe it'll work for my sons as well. So they tried a few lessons and they really enjoyed it. And I know that it is just honeymoon math period, but I do think that it is going to work a little better, just the mastery based and just having them practice those skills a little bit more. So I'm having my middle son go back and do math four again, because I just didn't feel like he was really getting the multiplication division and things like that, same thing. I can have him do two lessons a day and try to finish that within the half year and then get him into a math five. And then my younger son, he was actually ready for math five and seeing him do the math five and be able to complete lessons quicker and not have to do 30 questions to prove that he knows a concept or to move on to the next lesson. 
that was really good. So I think that reduced some fr frustration for him in that maybe we were moving a little bit too slowly for my youngest son, whereas my middle son just needs more repetition and more um, practice with those concepts. So that is what we're doing this year for three of my kids moving into CTC math. We have started doing it and so far, it's it's math right so sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not so great it's just more attitudes generally but we are enjoy i am enjoying ctc math i think it's a good switch for us this school year and like i said my other daughter she's going to be starting her think well math next week so i will be doing full reviews of ctc math and think well math in the future when i feel like we have used it enough to say something about it so if you're curious about how that works out for us or how everything else is going for us this school year, stick around. If you're interested in like short clippets of reviews of things that I've done in the past, I actually have like an Amazon influencer page that I have put like very short clips of videos of things that I have reviewed within all my videos. So if you're interested in seeing things that we have used in our homeschool and getting a short review on that, really not full reviews, but just short clips of what I have said about anything, I will link that in the in the description box below. So you can check that out if you're interested in just hearing more about some things that we might have used in our homeschool. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of future videos when they come out. Thank you so much for coming today and see you later, everybody. Bye.